Hi guys, so actually I've, I've already done a video on Archimedes principle. Uh, it's here at the corner, you can see, I'll leave the link in the description as well. That's a more complete video of Archimedes principle um, experiment for your UAS physics paper three. But here, I just want to make another connection that is between depth and buoyant force. So this is not directly in your textbook. So let's look at the apparatus setup. Apparatus setup is very simple. Once again, we hang an object on a spring balance and then we immerse it into a liquid. Most likely it is going to be water. And then this is the depth. So the depth of the liquid is the depth of the object immersed. This is from the surface until the bottom of the object. From the surface of the liquid until the bottom of the object. That's the depth. Okay, so what's the relationship between this depth and buoyant force? Right? Let's look at the theory first. So buoyant force is actually equals to weight of water displaced or weight of liquid displaced. Once again, I've already done this in more detail in the other video. You can look at the description for that. So this is Archimedes principle. Now, weight of water displaced is rho Vg. So what is rho? Rho is the density of the liquid. Here, actually what we're doing is we are taking uh, mg. We are taking m. And then you're using density times volume because density is mass per unit volume. So this is still of the water. This is the density of the water or whatever liquid you're using. And this is the volume of the water displaced, of the water, okay? So now here, what is the relation to depth? So depth is part of the volume formula. So the volume, this will be the mass of the water displaced. So we only look at the portion that is immersed in the liquid. We don't look at the portion that is not immersed in the liquid. So when you look at the portion that's immersed in the liquid, so let's say this is a cylinder. Yeah, let's say this is a cylinder. This object is cylindrical. Okay. So the part that is immersed, let's say, is until here. Okay. All right. It's only until here. All right. So what is the volume of the liquid displaced? The volume of the liquid displaced will be the volume of the, the part of the object that is immersed. This part. The volume of the part of the object that is immersed is the volume of the object if the volume of the liquid displays. So how do we get this volume? Now, first, the height of the cylinder here that is immersed in the liquid. Remember, we're only concerned about the part that is immersed in the liquid. This height is the depth. And how do you get the volume? So this one has a uniform cross section. So how do you get the volume of this particular region? You get the base area, which is this circle here, this area times the height, which is the depth. So this formula will then become Fb is rho ADG. So this is where depth comes in. Now, Density of liquid is a constant. We're not going to change the density of the liquid here unless the experiment requires you to use another liquid with another density. I'll, I'll cover that a bit later. So then we have the cross-sectional area. The cross-sectional area is a constant. It's not a variable. G is a constant. So all the other variables here, when they are kept constant, what is the relationship between the buoyant force and the depth? Directly proportional which means when the depth increases, buoyant force increases. When the depth decreases, buoyant force also decreases. So this is the connection with the depth. So let's use this particular example and answer just the main parts. So like uh, your variables and your hypothesis.
and inference. Okay, so just these three. Okay, the rest of it, again, I've already done another complete video on Archimedes principle. You can go and watch that. So, state the following for the experiment. What's the inference? So, inference and hypothesis both depend on MV and RV. So, again, the most important thing for you to identify first from the question is MV, RV. So, let's go to the question. You are required to investigate the relationship between the depth of plasticine immersed in a liquid and the buoyant force. So you are required to investigate the relationship between, after between, that's where you find your MV and your RV. MV is what we change at the beginning. RV is what we get at the end. So what do we change at the beginning of the experiment? That's the depth. And then you're going to look for the buoyant force at the end here. How to calculate the buoyant force? Again, that's in the other video. Please do watch that. Okay, now, so the manipulated variable here would be depth of plasticine immersed in water. And what is the responding? We want to see the effect on buoyant force. So what do we have to fix here? Once again, we have to fix what else can affect the buoyant force other than the depth. So you have to fix the density of the liquid here, right? So density of the liquid is fixed. Density of water. In this case, we are using water. All right. So how to write the inference? So again, this type of inference is only unique to physics. This format in the inference is only unique to physics. Please do not use this for bio and chemistry. So the inference here will be one of two formats, you can use MVFX RV. So if you use MVFX RV, then it will be the depth of the plasticine immersed in water affects the buoyant force. Okay. Of course, there is another format that you can use. Please choose either one. Don't give both. So RV depends on MV. Now, RV depends on NV. This will be Buoyant force depends on depth of plasticine immersed in water. Done. Okay. Now, for the hypothesis, this will be when MV increases, RV increases or decreases. This is the format that I ask my students to use. Grammatically, you won't go wrong. But if you want to use greater lesser, no problem. Okay, you won't be faulted for grammar here, so no problem. So, how to write the hypothesis in this format? When the depth of plasticine immersed in water increases, buoyant force. Okay. All right, guys, so that's about all I wanted to cover here. Again, I have another video, full video on Archimedes Principle. If you haven't watched that, please go and watch that. And um, all the best, guys. Just do your best, don't worry about the rest.